ask a question to all of you. Who are you? <laughs> and what is your identity? And these are the questions that I asked myself when I was 13. And before I answer these questions, I would like to give you a brief history about my life. I was born in Nagano, Japan, but when I was three, I moved to America, to Ohio, it's the red state, to a small city called Finley. And I lived there for four years. And when I was seven, I moved to Michigan, the blue state. And I lived in Michigan for two years and came back to Ohio to live in Finley. And another two years in Finley, I moved to a small city called Worthington in Ohio. And after living in Worthington for two years, I finally came back to Japan. And this time, instead of going back to Nagano, I went to Tochigi and stayed there for a year and a half and graduated middle school. And for high school, I went to Tokyo and I stayed in a dorm in Tokyo for three years. And now, I'm here in Chiba for college. So as you can see, I've been to a lot of different places in my life. And in all the schools in America, people considered me or saw me as a Japanese person. And this is obvious because of my appearance and the nationality that I have and my parents, the bloodline, everything. And I was proud to be Japanese. And I thought I was Japanese until I came back to Japan. In the middle school in Japan, people said that I was American. And it wasn't because of my appearance, but more to do with my personality and the way I spoke and the way I answered certain questions. And sometimes, um, and sometimes when I spoke in, like, in Japanese and said katakana words and I pronounced them with an English pronunciation and this gave the people here in Japan or in the middle school that I was American. And this isn't something that happened only in the middle school but in high school and even here now in college. And then, so, I was really shocked because for the 13 years prior to coming back to Japan, I thought I was Japanese. And finally, when I came back to the country that I thought was my home, I was a foreigner again. And then this created an identity crisis inside me. And so, I questioned myself who I was. And my way of thinking about myself changed when I went into high school. In my high school, most of the students there were returnees, so they had the same experiences. And some even came back to Japan, leaving their families in, in their respective countries. And when I asked them why they left their family and came back to Japan, they said that they wanted to get a Japanese education because they were Japanese. And some of these people have lived overseas longer than I have, some 12, some 15 years, but they still kept their Japanese identities. And there I noticed through the interactions with these people that identity isn't something that's singular. And so in high school, I embraced my Japanese side and my American side and all the experiences that I had in my life. And so back to my first question, who am I? It's everything that I just talked about now and all the experiences that I had in my life. And my experiences that I'll probably have in the future. So, ultimately, identity is something that's dynamic and constantly changing. And identity 
comes in all different colors, size, shapes, and sizes. And they're all different. And all our experiences are different. And so I believe that there's no such thing as a dull or boring life. And we're all different and unique in our own ways through our own experiences. So, what's your story? What color will you paint it? Thank you.